Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. And after downloading the XML, we can able to see what is the configuration setup which has been there at this point of time. Okay. So now we have two options. Either you can go from the provisioning or we can go from the front end for the corporate data model and the country's specific corporate data. But succession data model for country specific data model. We don't have any option to download the XML. If you're working on the XML, we need to go from the provisioning. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Now, as I told you, each data model will be having some XML codes that we need to download. So that XML code is a vertical, is a functionality. Okay. So, whenever you are working on MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, these are something which is coming from the MS Office. So if MS Office is already installed in your laptop, you can work on the Excel and you can work on the Word document. Okay. Similarly, like I told you for the MS Office, we have the options for XML. So if you want to download the XML, after downloading the XML, if you want to open that XML, XML will only open under the XML editors. Okay. XML editors. Under XML editor only it will be open. So we need to install the XML editors on the Play Store. Okay. So either we can look on. There are free version also and there are certain licensed version. Okay. So if you're already working with a separate partner company, you can request to your IT administrator that you require these XML editors. Then they will what they will do. They take approval of your line manager and they will try to do the installation in your laptop. But if you're not with a separate partner company, you can go and download that editor as a free version, trial version. And there are certain XMLs. One is XML Pad Editor. One is Oxygen XML Editor. One is Notepad++ Editor. These are some editors we can able to park on. OK. And download the free version. If you are working with a company and then you can request, raise a request to them, they will install it in your laptop. Without the XMLs, you cannot open the XML codes. Is it clear? Okay, so basically we can use Notepad++. That is a free download. You can check with if it is a free download. That editor is free free download, then you can. After downloading, you have to right click on that file and you can open with if it is showing. Okay. So let me go into the folder. So when I go here I will go to the data models, and in the data models, because here you can see I have downloaded the XML. After downloading, the XML will look like, so I have to click on this, right click on this and I have to go with open with. 
Yeah. When I go with open with. Can you see XML pad right? We have similarly for Oxygen XML Editor or Notepad. We will find this option after installation. OK. OK. Then we need to. What do you call it? Open it. So how we will download it? That I will show you from the front end. So I will go here. OK. And I will at least center. I will go to the tools here. Can you see here foundation of the configuration? Yeah. Okay. So these two options. Now it is reflecting. Okay. This came into the existence in the year 2021, October release. They introduced this option. Otherwise, this option is still. It doesn't mean that this option is now. It is there. So it has been. The XML has been removed from the provision. No XML will be there in the provision, but we have the option to update it from the front end. OK. So we need, we can able to sew. Similarly it will show like that, only input, export corporate data model. Input, export country, region, country, specific XML data corporate data model. Then you have a specific country region succession data model. Similarly succession data model. OK. So we'll click on here. And when it opens the screen I have to X, you can see import and export. Two options are there, right? So click on the export option and click on export. OK. So now what I will do, I will just go into, is my folder visible? Yes. So I will go into the downloads. So this is this one. I think this one right. And I will copy this. I will go to. I will, and what is the date today? Twenty sixth. Okay. No, I'm just testing it. Okay. So this is the original one which you're seeing here. Okay. So you should always make a practice that we should not override the original one. OK. So this is the original means. This is the actual one which you downloaded. OK. So just control C and just create a control D, create a copy of it. OK. 
so that if anything went so wrong from your end also, you should have a, if you want to remove the changes, you should have the original one as a backup. Got it. Okay. So I will what I will do. I will mention this, 25, 0, 3, 2, 3. Okay. So original will be there and whatever the changes I'm doing, I will be doing it in the copy version. Okay. So I will click on this. I click on this, open with and just go with the XML file. Meanwhile, when it opens here, whatever the fields which you're seeing for the objects that will be showing in. Okay. So here, when you, when the XML opens, you can see mainly there. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.